What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 53rd jailbreak update video. And today we're talking all about the iOS 11.3 through 11.3.1 jailbreak. Now, if you missed episode 52, definitely go back and watch that. You're gonna wanna watch that video. We talked about the potential for an iOS 11.2 and an iOS 11.3 jailbreak. That video is gonna be linked up in the cards up in the top right of this video and also down in the description below. So now let's talk about the latest in the iOS 11.3 jailbreak. So just yesterday, a security researcher that I briefly mentioned in episode 52 is back again, but this time with something a little bit more intriguing. So that person is a security researcher known as Sorry My Bad. And he posted this on Twitter. The jailbreak on iOS 11.3.1, very thanks to Quiho 360 Vulcan team and Morpheus Books and Tools. I cannot finish it without them. And he posted this tweet with a link to a video on Yuku, which is basically the Chinese equivalent to YouTube, showing a working jailbreak on 11.3.1. So the video starts off by showing him go into setting software update just to confirm that he is in fact on iOS 11.3.1. Then he goes ahead and turns off off the Wi-Fi you can see right there. It then goes to the next page on the springboard where there's an application called Project Moon. And once you click on it, it shows a very simple UI, very similar to the UI we've seen in recent jailbreaks. You click go and then wait for the device to reboot. Once it reboots, which actually it's respringing, but it says reboot, he goes back to the second page and then you will see Cydia and M Terminal. And then you can see here that he runs through some commands to prove it is legit and then shows Cydia even opening on 11.3.1. So even though the security researcher isn't as well known as some of the others, he is legit and he is also followed by notable people in the community like Luca Tedesco, Lang Chen, Kronach, and Marco Grassi. Now, after he tweeted out this video of the 11.3.1 jailbreak, Morpheus responded by saying, to those who mistranslated my Hebrew, that's what I was talking about. 11.3.1 is jailbreakable. Not bad at all. Sorry, my bad. Also, I will not release a jailbreak despite people screenshotting and faking my DMs. Been there, done that, got slammed by City of Mugs and Reddit who can't read. No more. And the Hebrew tweets that Morpheus is referring to were these that are on the screen right now. The translations basically translate into very broken English, but basically they were saying that 11.3.1 is jailbreakable and that he achieved an 11.3.1 jailbreak, but will not be releasing it. So some pretty interesting tweets there from Morpheus, but again, do not expect anything to get released released by Morpheus. However, I do hope that more security researchers invest their time into reading Jonathan Levin, AKA Morpheus's books and you know, using his tools, utilizing his tools, just because if they continue to do that and learn a lot more, we're gonna see a lot more public jailbreaks in the future. So now that this demo marks the third jailbreak achieved on iOS 11.3, does that mean that we should expect an iOS 11.3 and 11.3.1 jailbreak soon? Well, maybe. Now, as we all should know, demos do not mean that a public release is coming. We've seen time and time again over the years that security researchers, teams, a ton of people will showcase a jailbreak. They'll show it at a conference, they'll show it on Twitter, they'll show it on social media, but that does not always mean that they're gonna plan on releasing it to the public. But it is pretty promising that we've seen jailbreaks on iOS 11.3 shown by multiple people at different times. Now it's also promising that in the demo, there is a UI on the jailbreak screen, on the screen for the jailbreak application. Now that would usually indicate that he is planning on releasing this to the public and he wants everybody to know who originally created the application and the jailbreak, hence the credits. And also all that text you saw in Terminal in the video so that's all a lot of extra stuff added. You know, I don't really know why he would put that in there unless he planned on other people using it. Now, even with all that being said, I would not get your hopes up too high. Again, you guys know how I'd like to treat things like this. Just go in with no expectations at all. Don't expect a jailbreak, but if it happens, that's even better. But don't just expect a jailbreak to get released and when it doesn't get released, you're disappointed. That's just a really bad way of thinking about this. Yes, it is very possible that we will get this jailbreak publicly released, but I would still plan on and just not expect a jailbreak to come for iOS 11.3 and 11.3.5 one anytime soon. Now, if we did get a public release, it would likely happen after Apple patches up the exploit used in this jailbreak, which would probably be in 11.4. And if not 11.4, possibly iOS 12. Now, of course, I will be making a video when anything else happens with this jailbreak. I'm sure this is not the end of it. I'm sure there's gonna be more to it, so I will definitely be making a video when that does happen. But for now, do not update to iOS 11.3 or 11.3.1 if you are on 11.2 or jailbroken on an earlier version of iOS. Now, of course, when I say that, that doesn't apply to everybody. If you're on an old firmware like iOS 9 or iOS 10 and you're just tired of that, then yeah, go ahead and update if you want to. It just really depends on your situation. But if you're on iOS 11.3, I would just go ahead and update to 11.3.1 just because that's the highest firmware. And if a jailbreak comes out for 11.3, it's also going to work on 11.3.1. Again, I will be keeping you guys updated on this, so definitely stay tuned to the channel. And lastly, let's quickly talk about Pengu. So Pengu tweeted a couple days ago for the first time in two years. They tweeted out this, we are releasing Janus, a mobile threat intelligence platform. Our team is now conducting security research on mobile apps. If you need security auditing for your apps, please contact us. And they followed that up with another tweet that says, we confirmed several iOS apps 
with more than 100 million users are vulnerable to zipper down and found more than 10k iOS apps might have the same or similar issues. Check zipperdown.org and contact us for details and fix if your app is in the list. So this is a very interesting move by Pangu and it appears that they possibly have moved on completely from the iOS jailbreaking space. Now of course this is definitely not 100% confirmed and it's not really 100% clear either by the tweet but the fact that they said they're now working on this leads me to believe that they possibly could be moving on from jailbreaking. And if Pangu isn't moving on from jailbreaking, it's definitely taken a backseat to this new Janus intelligence platform that they've just recently launched. So that is pretty sad news since Pegu was one of the best jailbreak teams to ever exist for iOS jailbreaking. They will definitely be missed, but we knew the time was coming eventually. So anyways, guys, that is the latest on the iOS 11.3 jailbreak. Super exciting time right now for the jailbreak community. Definitely go ahead and hit that like button if you are hoping for a public release for the iOS 11.3 jailbreak. Also, let me know down in the comment below which firmware you are on right now. And of course, if you have any questions at all, definitely Definitely leave a comment down below and you guys know I love responding to your comments down there also over on Twitter and of course I will be making a video if anything else happens with this jailbreak I'm sure it will so I will be making a video when something does happen with this jailbreak or any other jailbreak for iOS 11.3 and above but anyways guys thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon